Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, I know I'm a little late on this, but we are doing a speed review video. I have over 30 plus items sitting in front of me that I have been testing out all month long and I'm gonna let you guys know what my final thoughts are on all these products. So you guys wanna see all that, well then definitely keep watching. All right, guys, so I wanna start by saying I'm so sorry that I'm late on this video. If you guys have not seen, my baby Koa has been so sick. Like he has been so sick this past weekend. It has been a very, very, very long week. I am at my wit's end, honestly, which is life right now. But he is doing better. He's not where we want him to be. He's not where he's 100% yet, but we're getting there. I'm actually gonna do a whole like chit chat, get ready with me. You guys seem to really love get ready with me's. I really enjoy them. I'm gonna tell you guys everything because there's so much to talk about, but I don't wanna take up this video doing that. So I'm just gonna film that I think tomorrow so you guys can see like everything going on with Koa and just my freaking life right now, life. <laughs> So we can talk about all that in tomorrow's video. I also just want to take a moment to thank everybody who came out to my Star Wars stream yesterday. I'm hoping to stream again tomorrow, but if you guys did not see in my stream, I actually talked about something I'm going to do. So I believe either on Thursday or Friday night, I'm trying to decide which one would be the best night. I'm actually going to do another YouTube live. This time it's going to not be like a video game live. It's going to be an actual like chit chat YouTube live where I'm going to challenge you guys. That's right. I'm challenging you to pick my entire makeup. I'm going to pick everything crazy and you guys are literally going to dictate exactly how I do my makeup, what products I use, everything. It's all going to be dictated by you. So I'll let you guys know what day I'm doing it, whether it's Thursday or Friday. It'll probably be around 7 p.m. Eastern time. I'll make sure I make a community post. I'll let you guys know in updated videos what day that's going to be. But yes, please tune out to that. Please turn out for that because I really want to get you guys to control my makeup. <laughs> So with that said, we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Like I said, I already have like 30 products sitting in front of me. So the first thing I want to talk about is the ColourPop. This is the Alice in Wonderland collection. Now I've only played with this a couple times. I will say I really do enjoy this collection. I think it's super, super, super cute. The lip kits, I'm still not a fan of. Genly, I'm still not a fan of. I think it's just the colors I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm not the biggest fan of the formula. I love the little mushroom lip scrub. The little eye metallic stuff sticks right here. They're nice. Like they glide on beautifully. But realistically, I'm just never going to get a use out of them. Like, I just generally wouldn't. And I really do enjoy the blushes. So I wanted to just quickly go over this, saying that I really do enjoy the collection. I think it's definitely well worth it. I also just really love ColourPop. So for me, like, that's just kind of like a given. But there's just some products in there that I still stand by in my review. I still think it's a super cute palette. I played with it two more times. And I do enjoy it, but it's not my favorite. But I still think it's a really great palette. Really, really cool collection. I'm really grateful that ColourPop sent that my way. So... Thank you guys so much. Up next, we have the e.l.f. This is the Denim Days eyeshadow palette right here. Again, I still think the packaging is super freaking cute. And when you open the inside, I still am enjoying the palette. I think it's a beautiful cool tone neutral palette. I feel like it's something that I don't really see that often in my collection. I don't know about anybody else's, but whenever I do have a neutral palette, it tends to lean more towards the warm tone. This is definitely more cool tone with the blues and silvers. I still think it's really good. I'm really still enjoying it. And am I reaching for it as often as I thought I would? No, but I still think it's well worth the price point. Still good in my opinion. Then we have these four palettes. These are from Ace Beauté. This is the floral collection. I love this collection so freaking much. It's actually so good. I still like obsessing with the floral palette. I have used this probably now six times. And I feel like that really speaks volumes on a palette. I feel like that really speaks volume on a palette when I keep going back to it. This to me is my personal favorite. I just really love the color scheme. I think it's just because it does go more towards the fall. You guys know that I really have a soft spot for fall colors. It's my personal favorite. You guys have seen my background where it's all fall related because I just love fall. And I just think this is such a good, good palette. Now you guys can use code Allie when shopping Ace Beauté to save 10% off. If you guys want to try anything, I highly recommend the Flora palette. But if I also would recommend another palette, I think my other favorite is the Cala palette right here. This is going to be a neutral palette and I just really enjoy this neutral palette. I think it's again another cool tone neutral palette that you can mix and match with all the other ones. It's so good. The formula is amazing. I still do not like the way that it's like shaped in the packaging. I hate the rectangle. I'm just not a fan of that. I personally like a square than a rectangle. Even though I can get my brushes in there, I'm very much I love to apply my shadows with my finger. So using a finger in this, my, my finger is like bigger. You know what I mean? So it's just it's not my favorite for packaging wise 
eyes, but the shadows in here are performing so freaking beautiful. I really have been enjoying this collection. I've been recommending it to my friends off camera because I generally think it's a really good collection. I think it's super cute. I feel like it's definitely like the perfect time for the fall season for the spring season clearly my mind is in fall but yeah i think it's a really really cute collection i really do think ace Bute did such a good job with that and then when they do have the little floor palette right here just in case you guys want to see it again here is that purple tone right here beautiful palette not my personal favorite only because i don't really gear towards a lot of these particular tones but it is really pretty and then we have that begonia palette i just really love these two shadows mostly in it these two but like this it's like my personal favorite so it's why this one's like my least favorite from this collection but overall the shadows perform beautifully i'd highly recommend checking them out up next we have what's up beauty this is the desert monsoon palette i've never tried anything from this brand i did have the geode palette but i never really had a chance to truly play with it but this palette i thought was actually really nice it really did take me by surprise I really do enjoy the formula. I think the color scheme is super cute. The formula really took me by surprise, especially that shade Sun. It's so creamy and buttery. I'd highly recommend checking out this brand. They also sent over their brushes to go along with it, which I actually did use today. And I will say um, the brushes are not my favorite. They're not. I don't know. I feel like the bristles are just a little bit too hard for me. I like a softer bristle. While I do get the job done, I just feel like they're just not my favorite like I won't reach for these ones as much as I would like Senge Beauty, Blend Bonnie Cosmetics, Bling Brushes like I won't reach for these ones as much as I would for those ones but I, they do get the job done so I will give it that and I just think it's a super cute collection I'm really excited to see what else this brand has to offer but yeah I thought this was a really cute palette. Up next we do have the Alter Ego this is the Coastal palette I really enjoy this palette this palette is so freaking pretty like the packaging alone I absolutely do love the packaging it reminds me so much of the Florida beaches and when you open the inside this is so perfect for the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz dupe. Like this is a perfect dupe. I love the shadows in here. I feel like they perform just a little bit better than the one that Huda Beauty provides. This is half the cost or even like a third of the cost. You guys can use code Dawson10 to save you guys 10% off on shopping at Alter Ego. But I just feel like the formula in this is so good. This is definitely a perfect alternative to Huda Beauty Rose Quartz dupe. If you do, To the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette, if you don't want to get that, definitely recommend getting this. The formula is amazing. I love how creamy and buttery the shimmers are and the mattes are so pigmented. This is like a perfect neutral palette, perfect everyday palette. And I just think that Alter Ego did such a fantastic job with this palette. I was, I was thoroughly impressed. I was. But you guys want to talk about a palette that really took me by surprise? This is the Art of Two Cosmetics. This is the Man Eater palette. First off, let's appreciate the packaging. Do we see how nice this packaging is? Like, oh my gosh, this is such a gorgeous packaging. I love the little like claw marks. Oh, I went the opposite way. Claw, what? I'm so... claw marks. <laughs> I love the claw marks. I think it's so pretty. And when you open it up, you do have that beautiful like half human, half tiger. So gorgeous. But what really took me by surprise truly was the formula. So the mattes were not as pigmented as I wanted them to be, but the shimmers, oh my God, the shimmer right here endangered. This is so creamy and buttery. The best way for me to compare this formula would be to like a glitter. The best way for me to compare this formula would be to like Glam Lights formula. You guys know how creamy and buttery Glam Lights formula is? That's exactly how this formula is. It's so creamy. It's so buttery. It literally just glides on the skin. They work so beautifully together. I'm absolutely obsessed with this palette. Makes me want to know like what else this brand has to offer because the formula is just truly amazing i had so much fun playing with this palette i loved the eye look that i created when using these palettes i just thought the eye look was so freaking beautiful i also have a little soft spot for green eye looks and i think it has to do because i i feel like it has to do with my eyes like i feel like it's really complimentary on my eyes because I, I have like a hazel green eye eyes and i just feel like this is such a gorgeous palette and i just feel like um art of two cosmetics just really really killed it when it came to the packaging when it came to the formula when it came to the concept and when it came to like just this whole overall feel of this palette. I think it's amazing. And I keep um, I keep wanting to play with this. I keep wanting to create looks with this. I'm just so drawn to this palette. And it's unfortunate that it is sold out. I mean, it's incredible for the brand. Like that's amazing for the brand. But it's just unfortunate because it is sold out. But definitely go follow them over on Instagram. They're Artitude Cosmetics. See when they're gonna restock this because they said they're going to. And it just makes me really excited to see what they're gonna roll out with next because this was truly incredible. Art of Two Cosmetics, you guys did such a great job. I freaking love this, love it. And the last palette to go over is actually the Melt Cosmetics. This is going to be the Electro Trip palette. So, uh, I am actually wearing this today and I, I don't care for it. 
I really don't care for it. So I just use the shades called Bang Saturn in um, Head Trip right here. Now I will say that the Bang shade and the Head Trip shade, they're working nicely. Like the Bang laid down beautifully. It's actually kind of like matching my shirt or I actually kind of match my shirt to this particular eyeshadow palette. I just feel like the shades just I don't know, they're not giving. They're not giving like they normally do on a Milk Cosmetics palette. Usually the mattes are so pigmented and they blend beautifully. This one, it's all right. It's all right, like I'm not gonna knock the matte shades. It's all right. But then you have the shade Head Trip. Now the shade Head Trip is really pretty. Like it does, it's really pretty. It gets the job done, it just adds a beautiful feel. But oh my gosh, guys, when we come to the shade Saturn, this shade Saturn absolutely sucks. Or as Teresa's dead would say, it sucks a big bag of dicks. <laughs> exactly what she would say. It sucks. It really does suck. Like I'm literally, look, I am digging into this. Okay. This is so freaking hard. Where, where, where? Like, do you see? It's just so freaking lackluster. It's so lackluster compared to the other formulas, compared to the other shades in this palette. Like it's just so freaking lackluster. I can barely get it to freaking apply in my eye. Like what? What? It's just, it sucks. I'm just gonna speculate here and I'm not trying to throw shade or anything. Maybe they went more of a cheaper route and they went to like a cheaper facility to make it a little bit more cheaper for them, but still profitable for them at the same time because their prices haven't changed. But there's something different about the formula and I just don't care for it. I just feel like their mattes are not what they used to be and their shimmers are not that creamy butter formula that I have in my Gemini palette, my original Gemini palette before they redid that one. That one was incredible. I don't know what happened, but they just changed the formula and I just, I'm so disappointed. Like I, I could even try to like zoom in right here. Like you guys see, like I'm rubbing this one raw because I'm trying to get some sort of pigment to show up and that's what it is. Do not waste your money on this. This is definitely not worth it in the slightest, not for what I paid for. And whenever I do another declutter on my channel, this would definitely be decluttered because it's just, to me, no. Alrighty, so moving on to the base products. I slacked this month on trying new makeup a lot. I need to get better at it. It's just been a really hectic month. I have some stuff here to do like a full face of NYX Cosmetics because you guys told me to. And I'm trying to get some more drugstore stuff to try out for you. It's just times have been hard. Times have been hard. So I'm trying. So we're going to go with what I do have in front of me. So this is not new, but I've really been trying it out a lot more this month. And it's the Nakia Joy Cosmetics. This is a matte based primer. Like I said, this is not new at all. Um, but I've been trying it out because when I first started trying this product, I generally didn't like it. I was like, well, it doesn't really do much. It does nothing for the pores. And I'm still going to stand by that. It literally does nothing for the pores, but I really want to try it out as like an all day wear test. And I've been actually enjoying it as like a nice, it's like a nice primer. Like it's getting the job done. It's helping to control the oil. It's helping to make my makeup look really smooth and pretty long lasting. I'm not having any troubles with it, with it like separating the foundation, it getting cakey, it peeling. I didn't have any issue like that. I've just been really enjoying it. Now, is this a holy grail product from Nikia Joy Cosmetics? No. It's not. Like, I still think their Holy Girl product is the Nikia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. Ah, it's my favorite. You guys know that's my favorite. But I just really wanted to give this one another shot. And I'm glad I did because I've been really enjoying this lately. And I've been using it almost every day to really try it out. It's great if you want to use it on bare face and just have it not lash you all day, nice and smooth, control the oil. That's fantastic. And I feel like it does get the job done for the most part. It's just not the most wowing product. But if you guys do want to get anything from this brand or get this particular product, you guys can use code AllieD, which will save you guys 15% off. But yeah, I think it's good. Just definitely not my favorite. Next, for concealers. Again, this is not new. But I was sent this in PR this month, so I just really wanted to replay it with it again. And it is the Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Wide Awake Collection. You guys can't use code Allie. Save you guys 10%. This is so weird that I keep saying that. Like, it's weird, right? It's weird. Uh, but it's our Wide Awake Collection. So we do have the concealer right here. And I also have the setting powder right here. They were so kind enough to resend me a whole pack in PR. And they sent me a brightening powder to go with it, which I've not played with it yet. But we do have the concealer right here. I enjoy the concealer because it does help to brighten the under eye. But I think why I really enjoy this the most has to do with the metal application. It's so smoothing under the eye. It's so cooling under the eye. It really helps to just get right in the nook and cranny while giving you like a nice cooling sensation. It really does help to hydrate and it just smooths out really nicely without 
caking or creasing, which I really do appreciate. So I really have been enjoying this. This is the shade called Almond Milk. But this this powder right here, I have like used this powder so, so much and not necessarily in the way that you think. So yes, this is fantastic for setting the under eyes. It's what I use today to set my under eye and it just really helps to make it nice and smooth. But for the longest time since getting this powder, I love to use this to blend out my eyeshadow. So whenever I realize, it's hard to tell from here because I feel like I'm so far away, but like when you're up close and my eyeshadow looks a lot more blended, it's because I go in with this. If I ever am dealing with a lot of color that I feel like is just really hard or I'm not getting it to be like soft and smooth or I just have a really harsh line and I don't really like it and I want to blend it out more I go in with the setting powder I literally use this to help to blend any shadow that I'm having any sort of issue with and it's so freaking good it's so fantastic it really just helps to smooth out the eyeshadow it helps to give it a more blurred effect making it a lot easier to make your eye look more seamless and like you know what you're doing and so I really do enjoy this for that particular reason is I just think it's really good for blending out eyeshadow it's the weirdest thing it's the weirdest thing but I just thoroughly enjoy this for eyeshadow it's what I've been using non-stop I always have it on my desk to blend out my eyeshadow with so there's a little trick for you now moving into like contour bronzer so we do have the elf contour wand right here i actually use this to kind of underpaint because this is so gray tone the first time i tried this i was like oh my gosh it's too gray in my opinion so i use this to underpaint like you guys told me to and honestly i don't see a difference <laughs> i really don't but the one thing i do want to point out to you guys is i hate the packaging like, look at how gross this is. I hate the packaging. I physically cannot twist this. I thought of you guys reach out to me and say, oh, just twist it close. No, 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 it, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to twist close. So this is what it is. And when it's a product like this, it freaking leaks. It leaks, it gets everywhere. My Milani has done the exact same thing and I really enjoyed that contour wand, but it's leaking, it's disgusting. I hate opening it up because the second I do, it's all in the cap, it gets all in my hand, it gets on my desk. It's just not an easy product to work with. I wish they would have made it like the Charlotte Tilbury wand where it's a really easy close, really easy to work with, but they decided to be difficult. So while I do like the formula where it's really easy to blend, would I repurchase this? that's what I forgot to do repurchase her trash um no I would trash this I would 100% trash this not keep this I would trash this and I would trash the milk cosmetics so I, we have two trashes everything else repurchase I forgot oh, god I'm so sorry guys it's been such a long week I'm so sorry but everything else is repurchased those two are trash absolute trash <laughs> Okay, so next we do have the LYS. I didn't realize that this was a viral product. I had no idea that this was viral. Honestly, until I was on TikTok and I saw people saying, oh my God, I finally got the YSL stick in. I'm like, really? First off, why is it dirty? Somehow it is, but uh, this is a very viral product and I just happened to get it in like a Ipsy BoxyCharm box. Well, I have the shade medium. I think I've been better off getting the shade light, honestly, but I have the shade medium and I'm trying to make this work. I will say it's unbelievably creamy and buttery. Absolutely. But when I applied it today, it was easy to work with, but would I repurchase this or would I trash this? I would not repurchase this, but I would not trash it either because like it does work. So this is like a, a limbo, a limbo of sorts, a limbo. So this is a I don't know, <laughs> but I would not repurchase it. Shoot, I can't believe I forgot that, that this is my, I forgot that I called this series repurchase or trash. Ah, I'm so, <sighs> all right, so moving on to setting powder. I told you guys that I would be really tiring out the Ofer Cosmetics Loose Setting Powder and I'm wearing the Oil Control one today. I would 100% repurchase this. The other ones like the Brightening Banana, the Brightening, of strawberry and stuff, I would not repurchase. And the reason being is that I really like a brightening under eye and I just feel like those shades don't really brighten the under eye the way that I'm looking for. I like to have like a really bright under eye if possible. And I just feel like the, the strawberry one that I tried just makes it too pinky for me. Not enough like brightening. It needs to be like a pinky bright and it's just too pinky for me. So I would not repurchase that. So I guess essentially I would, I would trash that one but I would 100% repurchase this. I feel like it does such a great job at smoothing out the skin and just making it long lasting. Is it 100% oily proof? No. Is it my holy grail? No. 
but it's fantastic for wearing for about six to seven hours. It does a great job of controlling oil for that long. And typically I don't even wear my makeup that long anymore, honestly. So I've really been enjoying it. I've been wearing it every day. I've been wearing it with makeup, without makeup, and it just does a really great job at smoothing the skin, blurring the pores, and just making your makeup last a lot longer while controlling oil at the same time. So I've been really enjoying it for that. And like I said, this is the oil control one. You guys can use my code Allie to save you guys 20% off. The rest, I haven't tried the translucent light, medium, or deep honestly I haven't tried it I actually am going to be passing those ones along because I already know what I'm looking for because those ones are for like radiant and lumosity setting powders and I'm all about the oil control so those ones I would trash and I'd repurchase this one moving on to blushes so we have the elf this is the halo beauty wand right here this is the blush shade we have the shade candle lit and I will say that while it's pretty I would 100% trash this I would not repurchase this and the reason being is that it's just too glowy. It's like adding a highlighter. I don't want to have a luminous blush. It's just not for me. It's not for me. I'm all about having a very mattified face if possible because I know, I know that my oil at some point is going to start to seep through and I'm fine if it does as long as it makes me look glowy and dewy and not like, oh God, that's, oh God, the sun's reflecting off her face because it's so greasy. Do you know what I mean? So while it's a pretty color, it's good for not really wearing much on your face, I would 100% trash this, not repurchase. Nope. Then we do have the two um, Blend Bunny Cosmetics palettes right here. So we have the Bare Cheeks right here. While I will say this is a really pretty palette, this is more of like your neutral tone shades. I thoroughly enjoy the Juicy Cheek. There's something about this that I just think it's absolutely amazing. So if I had to pick one, I would, I guess, trash this one and repurchase this one. If I had to choose one option or another, honestly, I love them both. I truly do. And I would never trash either one of them, but I really feel like out of the two, the Juicy Cheeks is just my favorite. I can't get enough of this. I love the blush color that I did today. I took a, I took a, the shade Squeeze. I took the shade Raw, Plump, and a little bit of mouthwatering right here just to create a really beautiful, almost like watermelon-esque color. I think it's beautiful for the spring summer season. I cannot get enough of this. A little goes a long way. So it goes on pretty heavily, but it's really easy to blend out when I'm using my brush. I just kind of go over the powder brush and just really kind of work it in, get it blended, and then it just like melts into the skin. Super beautiful. I absolutely recommend this more than anything. If you're more into like the neutral tones, you might like this palette more. I just personally, these are shades I'm not gonna really go for that often compared to the juicy cheek fantastic and if you guys want to you guys can use code alley save you guys 10 percent. but yeah those are chef's gifts next for highlighter so surprisingly enough this one took me by surprise because i generally do not like liquid highlighters like i tell you guys all the time just not a big fan of it and i didn't really like my charlotte tilbury one but when i tried the elf halo glow liquid highlighter i would 100 percent repurchase this I think it's pretty. I think it gets the job done. I think applying it on top, even a set face, I applied it on top of setting powder. This blends out really nicely. You just tap it with your finger and just like melts into the skin. I actually really do enjoy this. I have nothing bad to say about this. I would 100% repurchase this. And I just think it's a really good product. Just like I think this half magic right here, this is the Light Trap Dual Chrome Glow Powder. I put this on top of that and it just like adds that like extra glow. I think it's a really pretty highlighter. This was sent to me by one of my good friends. And I will say this is just so pretty. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like it does a great job. It really kind of captivating the light. So the light hits it just like looks beautiful. I mean, just look at that shift so good all right so then moving on to lips and that pretty much wraps up this video the first thing i want to talk about is the blend bunny cosmetics lip oils i still stand by these lip oils they are so so good i think my personal favorite one is this orange one squeeze i love it i just think it's such a beautiful color to me it's so fun it's so summery it's so like orange tone and i just think it's such a beautiful color they retail for 12 dollars a piece they smell fantastic they don't really stick at all they just blend really beautifully on top of like a lip liner a liquid lip i just have a lip liner on and just this that's all i have and like look at that shine look at that shine it is just so freaking good you get so much product for the little price that it is and you can get the different shades and they have a little bit of tint to them but you guys can add more more and more you guys can add more pigment to it if you guys wish to do so don't do it the way i did it though don't stick like your your lip oil into the actual palette just put the lip oil on then take the palette like to take the shadow from the palette and just kind of tap it on to add a little bit more pigmentation don't do it the way i did it because it's gonna stay in your palette but i will say these are fantastic i think blend bunny cosmetics did such a wonderful job with this i'm thoroughly thoroughly enjoying this and i would absolutely repurchase that then we have this perfect lip balm from elf <sighs> i got hate I got hate on in my video because of this. So when I open this, okay, this is how I open my lip products. 
I opened it like this, okay? People hate that I do that, but it's how I always done it. And the reason being is that long ago, when I used to buy lip products way back in the day when they were really expensive, and I'll use the perfect example, is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics um, lip, lip products. I wanted to make sure that everything was on, like staying on, because I had one that's pretty melty, so I like to check the base. And when I put this on, I literally opened, and in the video, I can even slow, in the video, if you slow it down, you can see that this was already leaning against here, indicating that it was broken, and the second that I put it right to my lips, first off, you can see, it's like, look at that, you see that? I didn't do that, I didn't eat it. The second I put it on my lips, it completely like, broke apart, and people are like, oh, you did it for the views, you were trying so hard to get clout, blah, 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 and I'm like, first off, who would ever get clout from that? Like, what? And I'm not even, like, making it, like, a big spectacle. Like, I really wasn't making a big spectacle. I was just like, oh, shit, it broke. Like, it is what it is. It's such an easy fix. You guys told me I can melt it down. You guys told me I can use so many different things to make it work. Honestly, I don't really care to really fix this because it's a color that I'm not the biggest fan of because it kind of goes, like, this really weird, like, purple-blue on my lip. I'm, I'm not a fan of the color. But you guys, just some of the comments was just so fascinating to see how people were so upset thinking that I broke this on purpose to get clout and views. Cause yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to do. Like it's just, no, but what I repurchase this or trash this, I would a hundred percent trash. And then last but not least, I got this new Fenty Beauty. This is the heat called lemon lava. I got this in, I think the boxy charm box ipsy box charm i really enjoy this i think it's a great product i would 100 percent repurchase this it has a little bit of a, like a yellow gold reflect to it has a little bit of heat but the heat is not stinging it's just like a soft burn like almost as if you had like hot sauce on your lips i think it's so beautiful i love the smell of it and i just think that fenty has an overall great gloss so i would 100 percent repurchase this so so out of all the products i've tried i would say i have like four trash the rest repurchase but i think overall out of all the products i tried this month the fact that we have like really four products to trash everything else is repurchase or just it's good enough to keep but not good enough to trash it's good enough to keep but not bad enough to trash like I feel like that definitely says something I feel like we definitely did really really good this month so yeah let me know down below what products I tried that you guys are interested in repurchasing or purchasing or if you guys are like no trash it like let me know and also stay tuned to either Thursday or Friday when I'm going to challenge you guys to pick my makeup for me and I should be live streaming the Star Wars game tomorrow night I like 90% sure I'm going to, but I'll definitely let you guys know. But just I wanted to take a moment just to thank you guys so much for all the well wishes you guys gave for me and Koa. It has been a very long, stressful weekend and or just week or, or month, honestly. And I just, I really can't thank you guys enough for just being here. It, it means more to me than you guys will ever know. And I'm so sorry that I messed up the beginning of this video. I didn't want to have to refilm it and take away my genuine reactions just because I forgot to do repurchase or trash. Like I said, it's just been such a long week. So... That is it for today's video, guys. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already, because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channels, All For The Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. And as always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful Patreon members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe, either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys very soon and i'll see you guys in our very next video bye